Hey guys, it's John here, and thanks a lot for clicking on my latest video. We're going to take a quick look at the Star Wars The Clone Wars Special Edition Target Exclusive Animated Set. This is like the uh, from the Clone Wars Animated Series. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm not going to open these. We're just going to take a look at them in the packaging. I just can't bring myself to open these. If on some crazy weird thing I end up getting extras down the road, maybe we'll open one. Um, but really, quite frankly, right now, if I get extras, they're going to the community, you guys that are watching, and uh, our community of toy people, because none, of, a lot of you guys can't find them. And... Um, so quite frankly, if I find extras at this point, they're all going to people in the toy community who need them. Fellow collectors, you know, collectors helping collectors. Because, um, yeah, these are very difficult. I had to go to four different stores. And let's see, the first store I was at had Anakin. And then the second store I went to had Hawk. And then I found the third store had zero figures. And then the fourth store I went to had Obi-Wan and Echo. And that was all they had. It was like a, um, it was like this store only had the one figure left. This store had the one, this one had two. It was like nobody had like multiples of these guys and nobody had all four at the same time. So it was it's a very it's a very difficult set to put together at least in my area. But anyways, let's let's go uh Obi-Wan Anakin Echo Hawk, all right? And we'll take a look at these guys. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Great packaging. I love this packaging. I really really do. Four and up Star Wars, the Clone Wars. And the figures look great. Look at that head sculpt for Obi-Wan. It's just fantastic. Originally, I had told myself that I was only going to get Echo and Hawk. And I was not going to worry about getting the uh, um, Obi-Wan and Anakin for myself you know but once i saw these in person i had to have all four it was kind of a it was kind of a like wow these look so great 50th anniversary of lucasfilm great clone wars artwork on the side really cool figure very happy with these the way they came out and the back of the packaging is just it's going to be the same on every single one of them except it'll say a different nameplate but um it has the timeline and where the clone wars fits in oh that's a release timeline that's what it is 50 years of lucasfilm release timeline Commemorate the first 50 years of Lucasfilm with figures inspired by Star Wars The Clone Wars, which fits in at 2008. So Lucasfilm started in 1971. Star Wars came out. Empire Jedi. Star Wars Legends started in 91. Episode 1, 2, 3. Clone Wars, Rebels. Force Awakens, Rogue One, Last Jedi, Solo, and Rise of Skywalker 2021 on. They don't even have Mandalorian on there. Why not? Where's Mandalorian? What's going on? You couldn't do like a little Mandalorian. <laughs> Why wouldn't that be on there? That's weird. All right, on to Anakin. My name's Anakin, and I'm a person. Anakin Skywalker here. 
from Star Wars The Clone Wars. Really cool. We've seen the top of the packaging, so we can go right to the figure, right? This one also has what I consider a really good head sculpt. He's got a little bit of forehead there where the hair is, where the part of the hair is coming out. But, um, I mean, he really looks a lot like the animated picture, right? The gauntlets look great. I really like that. I like the way this came out with the armor. He looks really good, I think. Now, I've seen this guy open on other people's channels, and I got to tell you, this, he looks great um, as an open figure, and I'm dying, I really am dying to open one of these, because I, I really think he looks awesome next to some clones, you know, really cool figure. Very happy with this Anakin figure. Wow. And now we have Echo. 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 Really awesome that we have an ARC Trooper and we get ARC Trooper Echo to go along next to your Rex. This, I never really thought that we'd get Black Series versions of like any of the other troopers you know if i had my if i had my way i'd see a, tr a version of heavy echo fives I'd, I'd want them all you know so it's really cool that we're getting echo they've it kind of makes me think like well now you've got to do fives you know we have to at least get fives in some some way as a black series. Look at all the weapons he comes with. He gets the long rifle, a blaster pistol, two of the small blaster pistols that go in the his um I'm, I'm hooked on pockets, but I mean uh you know they're gun holsters, holsters, there you go. <laughs> He's got the five, the hand slap on his on his uh, armor there, which is pretty cool. The helmet's awesome. Really nice helmet. That's cool. Clone head, the little tunic thing around his waist is cool. What the heck are those things called? They're not, they're like skirts, but they're not really called skirts. There's a name for them, right? Yeah. Like control things on his gauntlets, really cool. Is that gauntlet just plain gray? Overall, this is a really cool figure. I'm, I'm excited and super happy to have Echo. Amazing, amazing figure. And then lastly, we have Stringfellow Hawk coming in. Oh, wait, sorry. That's not Stringfellow Hawk, is it? Sorry, this is uh, the Clone Wars Clone Pilot Hawk. I'm all confused here. <laughs> oh boy wow right wow what no way look at that helmet that is so cool i'm dying here man like i'm looking at this figure and i'm just like i have got to open one of these this is just so awesome. There's, is there a way to like not ruin the packaging and still get this guy out? You can, maybe I can slide him out from the bottom. <laughs> if I figure out a way to keep this packaging intact and just kind of slide him out from the bottom, you might see me opening some of these in the future. <laughs> <laughs> 
because <laughs> that's the main thing is trying to keep this packaging 100% intact and I don't want to cut around and open it up, you know, but there might be a way to open this from the bottom and have it slide out. Yeah, huh, I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> but this figure looks awesome. I, I am so impressed by this. And again, it's like, did you ever think we were going to get a pilot in Black Series? Like from the Clone Wars? I never did. It just didn't seem possible. And here he is. And that head sculpt's a totally new sculpt. They're going to want to use that again, I think, because that cost him some money. And uh, so we might get more pilots down the road. Otherwise, I think he's standard Clone Wars trooper gear. Just for mine, I can see here. But even with that helmet, they're going to want to use that helmet again. So they're going to have a repa repaints of this guy up the wazoo. Call him different. Name him different characters, you know generic clone pilot stuff like that but 501st pilot clone pilot hawk this is so cool well there we go guys star wars the clone wars kenobi skywalker echo and hawk i hope you guys enjoyed this one this was just like an amazing ride it was such a like pain to get all four lots of driving and i had to ask uh employees at every single store these were not just on the shelf i had to ask i had to beg it was it was it was not an easy task to get all these guys yesterday was quite the and it was on top of doing my job I was working and in between each job that I had to do yesterday I was going to stores it was it was like or you know I was at one store doing my job and the other one was next door that I had to run to to look for one of these figures stuff like that you know because it was it was just crazy but anyways we got them and if I do decide to open, if I figure it out, I'll let you guys know. Because I think you can open them from the bottom and they'll just slide right out. And then maybe you can put this back together. Well, I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. I, yeah, thank you so much. We, uh... We have over 4,000 people following on Twitter. I'm blown away by that number. So thank you so much for everybody who's following on Twitter. Um, that's just incredible, going over 4,000 on Twitter. And what are we at, 2,500 or so on, on YouTube here? We're almost at 2,500. So really, really cool. I, I'm blown away by this by this response I'm getting. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And yeah, talk to you guys in the next one, I guess. Okay, see ya.